Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Instead of a speed build, what I have for you today is a custom content creation tutorial. The first thing you'll need to do is download and install Sims 4 Studio. You can find the link to the program in my description. Next, you need an image editing program. I use GIMP because it's free and because I've used it for years and I'm accustomed to it. If you have Photoshop or something else and you're more familiar with how to use it, feel free to use that. This tutorial will be focused on using GIMP. I'll include a link to where you can download GIMP if you happen to want it. Once you've downloaded and installed Sims 4 Studio and you have your image editing program ready, you need to familiarize yourself a little with the Sims 4 Studio. As you can see, there are quite a few different options for what we can create with Sims 4 Studio. I have personally only dealt with recolors of various cast, build, and object items, so these are the things that I'll be able to show you. Today, we're going to focus on a cast item, and we're going to start with something simple. First, if you look under the big blue cast button, there are four radio buttons. Create cast standalone, create 3D mesh, add cast part swatch, and override. Today, we're going to be creating a swatch, so we can either add cast part swatch or create cast standalone. I have a habit of using Create Cast Standalone because I'm usually creating a lot of swatches at once, but right now, since we're only going to make one swatch of one item, we'll select Add Cast Part Swatch. And once you've selected it, go ahead and click the blue Cast button. The program will load up all the cast items that your game has. It has base game items plus items from any pack that you own. If a new pack has been recently released, you may not yet have those in your Sims 4 Studio because it might not be updated yet. As you can see, there are drop-down boxes at the top of your screen used for filtering by certain categories. For now, we're going to choose Female, Adult, and Clothing Top. There are a lot here to choose from. If you go ahead and filter uh, by Game Pack and choose just Base Game, it'll reduce the number of items that you'll have to look at. Scroll down until you get to the cable knit sweaters. This is what I'd like to work on today. If you click on the grayish colored one, it will highlight in blue, and then you'll just click Next, and you'll need to name your file. Um, I'd like to say a quick word here. When you use Sims 4 Studio, you should probably find a location where you'll always keep those particular files. I created a folder on my desktop that's just called S4S Projects, and that tells me that everything in here deals with a project for Sims 4 Studio. So I would recommend doing something similar. You can keep it in your Documents folder or wherever, but I do keep mine on my desktop, so it's always easy for me to locate. So once you have a location selected, uh, you'll want to go ahead and create a file name. I like to use something distinctive, so I'm going to refer to this as YF for young adult female, underscore BG for base game, underscore cable sweater, underscore red, because I'm going to make my sweater red. And then click save, and you created your first package file. So, as you can see, there are a lot of different things that you can look at here. This is the categories tab. Um, this is usually where I finish doing one of my packages. So, um, instead of looking at this right now, we're going to switch back over to Texture. So, you'll have the Categories tab, the Meshes tab, and the Texture tab. Go ahead and click Texture, and it's going to take you to where you can actually export this texture so you can work on it. So, the first thing we need to do is add a swatch up here at the top. So in your swatch tray, you should only have a gray swatch of this sweater. If you add a swatch, it'll duplicate it, and then you need to basically give this swatch a different color. So click on the little swatch thumbnail right here, and just pick a color that you want to make your new sweater. As I said, I'm going to be making mine red, so I'll click on a red swatch. You can pick any color you want. They don't have to match, but it does make it a lot easier, especially if you plan on sharing this. So you wouldn't necessarily want a purple swatch that links to a red sweater. That would be a little silly. So once you've made your, your swatch color, what you'll want to do then is export your image file. So you have different items here under texture. Diffuse, Shadow, Specular, Normal, and Emission. The only one we're dealing with today is Diffuse, so just make sure that it's highlighted and click Export. 
It's going to ask you to name a file again. This is just the file for your image. Um, you don't have to name it anything special because you'll probably throw it away when you're done. So I'm just going to call it red and hit save. And now I have an image file named red in my Sims 4 Studio Projects folder. I'm going to go ahead and open that up in GIMP. And in GIMP, you can see your image file. It's got a transparency behind it. We're not worried about that today. We're just going to recolor this sweater. So the easiest way to do this is going to be to click on colors at the top and then move down to colorize. And as you can see, GIMP is going to turn your sweater a funny aqua color. You do not have to stick with that color. If you, if you basically just click in this little box where the color is, it's going to bring up the um, color picker dialog and you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to go with something in the red family and just choose a red that I like. I tend to like things that are just a little bit darker, a little richer. So I'm going to pick this red and click OK and OK again. And now I have a red sweater instead of a gray sweater. All I need to do now is save this and then we can move on to the final steps. So up at the top, click File. Um, it may be tempting to choose save or save as. Those will not do what you want them to do. So what you need to do is go down to export as. Click that and you can save it as the exact same name that you had before or you can change it. So I'm just going to leave it as red and click export. It'll ask me if I want to replace it. I do. And then click export again. And you've saved your sweater. Now you can close that file and go back to Sims 4 Studio. So in Sims 4 Studio, while your red swatch thumbnail is clicked, it'll have a little blue background around it. Go ahead and click Import. And it's going to bring up your, your folder with your files in it. Double click on that red sweater and now you have a red sweater that you can put in your game. All we have to do is save, but there's one more thing I want to do before that. So go back to this Categories tab now, and you'll see that there's a lot of different things that you can change in here. The only thing we're going to change right now is the color. So if you uncheck gray because this sweater is no longer gray, check red to turn this particular color swatch into a red swatch. And I'll show you what all of this does when we get the game opened up. So you now have your red swatch listed as a red swatch. Go ahead and hit save. It saves your package file, which means that it's ready to go into your game. So click OK to get rid of that box and then click cancel. It's going to take you back to the Sims 4 Studio main screen. Now your next job is going to be to open up your Sims 4 mods folder. And I keep mine in my documents. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Sims 4 and Mods. And I'm just going to take this package file and move it over. You can delete your red file at this point now. You no longer need it. So I've put my package file into my Mods folder. I'm going to close that Mods folder and then I'm going to open my game. It's going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll get back to you as soon as this is done. So as you can see, I have my game open and Cass is open in my game and I've got a sim selected, so I'm going to go look for my sweater. And there, there's the sweater that we've done. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the swatches and it looks like there's my red swatch. I can tell that that's mine because it is custom content. It's got the little wrench icon on it. So if you locate your cable knit sweater and look at your swatches, um, select your swatch, put it on your sim, and take a good look at it. If you're pleased with your work, congratulations, you're done. You just created your first Sims 4 cast recolor. Not too hard. Since you did the extra step of editing the color in the category file, your sweater will be searchable by color. And I'll show you how to do that. So if you go up here to the top and click on the colors tag, you can select red or whatever color you made yours, and there's your swatch right there ready for you with all the other red tops that are available in your game. 
I bet you did a great job, and this is a simple thing that you can do with any solid colored item in Cass. Next time I'm going to teach you how to recolor items with more than one color. In the meantime, play with your Sims 4 Studio and GIMP and see what you can create. If you're familiar with transparencies and layering in image editing programs, you can probably figure out how to do multicolored items yourself. I taught myself how to do all of this. I know you can do it too. So if you learned something from this video tutorial, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. I release new speed build videos every day, Monday through Friday, and going forward, I'll be releasing other videos like this tutorial from time to time. So please come back and join me for the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.